Well, you never know. You never know. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I, I, I feel like I'm ready. By the way, tonight, I don't even think I'm drinking. So y'all going to have a sober free academic. Y'all have a sober academic tonight. And the reason why I'm not drinking is because if I start drinking, this stream is going to be two hours. I'm going to fall fucking asleep. So I'm going to stay up. No drinking. Drinking water. Essential. Feel me? Uh, da, 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 da. What else y'all saying? Let me see. He lied to whack. Who? What? What do you have to Dunk contest is ass. Somebody says sober motherfucker crash out on somebody. There's not really much people to crash out on. You know what I mean? Like even to be honest, I was really ex uh, hoping and excited that once I heard even this full track that I was going to be able to crash out on this individual. You heard Young Miami actually dropped a, a full video and diss towards me. You know. Young Miami's in her, like, you know how these women be like, they in their soft girl era? She's clearly in her trash girl era. Like, this is just beyond trash. I I think people have abundantly now realized that Young Miami's talent, it might be sucking penis. It might be getting peed on. It might be doing some freaky shit. It might even be just talking shit. You know, she has a, a talk show as well. It definitely ain't rapping. And I think that's becoming abundantly clear. This is the first time. And by the way, I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm mad at Young Miami for how garbage this song was. So Young Miami dropped a new song, and she dissed me in a song. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. I wasn't even mad at the diss. I was just mad at how trash the song was. You feel me? It's like, damn. Young Miami. Does she have a YouTube page? Can I find it, bitch? Let me see. I can't play all of it, so I'm going to play a little bit of it. Man, she's trash. Does she even have a YouTube? I don't know if she has a YouTube page. Uh, maybe it's on this Carisha Please page. Okay, let me just say, uh, Young Miami diss academics. What the fuck? She dissed me in a song. What's, what's the name of the song? She dropped a music video for it, too. Am I tripping? Maybe this shit is this damn trash. Is it this? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the one. I think there's a music video for it. 50 50 video. Let me, let's look at this garbage. Wasn't there a music video unless I'm tripping? I swore I saw a music video. Uh, she teased the visuals for the song This and Me Yo, Young Miami, bro Never in your life drop another garbage song like this again, bro I ain't gonna lie, man This this is what, what happened when Sexy Red came in the game And brought some real whole music to the scene like the pretend home. First of all, people are tired of escort music, period. Okay? But even pretend home music. Let me give you a, a comparison. And I think this is one of the reasons why Young Miami is now irrelevant. She's ir irrelevant now because of something that we should all value in any type of field, which is competition. The city girls were lit when there was no competition. They were they were like, you know, there's a Cardi B, but they're not competing with Cardi B. There's a Nicki. Nobody's competing with Nicki. And then they came in as a breath of fresh air. Now there's a bunch of girls who are doing this whore rap. And here's the thing. They're just doing it bad. You feel me? Like, to, to give a comparison. Y'all remember, remember when um, niggas used to listen to, like, YB in the mirror? And that nigga was like, yo, rubbing off the paint and, you know what I mean? And, oh, he up to 40 and all that type of shit. Niggas was listening to Smoke Perp talking about how they're gangsters and killers. That sounded amazing. Till King Vaughn came around, okay? You know who King Vaughn is for the host? Sexy Red. So basically, all of this like pretend whole rap and all these girls that barely can't rap, we're just kind of looking at it, especially even Karisha, who's like now 30. We're looking at her like, it's over, bro. It's over. It's over. I think she has a good, uh, she has a prospective career in podcasting, but this shit is a dub, bro. I wasn't even mad that this, I'm mad that she dissed me on such a terrible song. If we're going to go back into the archive of diss songs against academics, shit, 
Even Gunner had a, a a good snippet where he was like, well, actually, it was a leak song where it was like, yo, uh, something in rich in a pandemic, fucker academics. That wasn't that bad. Listen, we all know Shot Glizzy said, man, I know every DJ but this pussy academics. This the song's so fire, I still bump it, right? This might be the worst motherfucking diss of all time that ever mentioned my name, and I'm sorry that this is even coming out. Anyway, uh, yo, you, let me pull up my chat real quick. No, it's terrible. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. Okay, give me one second. I got to pull up the chat. <laughs> you like <laughs> you like that one? Nah, it's all good. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, man. Uh, yo, you know you're at a very sad part of your career where even this and me don't even help the song do no numbers. Like, like I'm like one of the, the industry hated. So, like, if you diss me you speak up against me you say anything against me everybody wants to root for you they're like yes fuck that nigga act we hate him anyway you know what i mean it's like it's like mob mentality right again sometimes when you want to be liked, just speak out against somebody that's more disliked and even that's just not working so you know i'm gonna just keep it up being with uh young miami man i i i, I think you know how to say dame time I think it's OnlyFans time. Okay, we got to see what that pussy is hitting for. Okay, and I think $4.99 might be the price. Get on OnlyFans. This music is not working. And I don't think Diddy is going to be renewing the show. Matter of fact, I don't think Diddy is going to pop his head up for a long time coming. Okay, so just give us what we want to see. We want to see what that 30 year old city girl pussy is kicking for. So just start the OnlyFans. Fuck it. Okay, because music is just not your talent. And when I say that, I'm saying this so respectfully. It's not even hate. Like, y'all can't even be like, nah, act you hate. She's not talented, bro. She's just not talented. JT already trimmed the fat. She already, like, departed. She's putting out solo songs. She just decided to put out this type of garbage to further prove to us why JT needs to go solo. Again, music ain't for everybody. Like, I think Ruby Rose, she had, like, one little hot song. Then she realized she ain't going to make no fucking money from music. She got, she's on OnlyFans doing her thing. Some of y'all just need to go to OnlyFans, and I think, you know, Young Miami's next, man. To keep it real, I'll subscribe. I got to see what that shit was hitting for. You feel me? Somebody said Red Flag is a girl like in this type of music. Well, yeah, you're right. But, like, I would say they have an ear infection if they're liking Young Miami music. All right? Uh, red Flag is a girl like in Sexy Red music. Sexy Red is making authentic whore music. Right? This is just like that. This is that Fugazi whore music right here. I'm going to lie. Even Finesse Two Times Song is a little bit harder than this. Yo, she's just not a rapper to me. And I'm, I'm going to be, like, so polite. She's just not a rapper. Her delivery, you could tell. And, I, and I've heard this before. I mean, Young Miami, you, you know this to be true. You never wanted to be an artist. And when I speak like this, yeah, I say I hate women. But I'm giving an objective critique of your art and of your career. Everybody behind the scenes says this. You never wanted to be an artist. JT also a little bit. But JT is just more naturally talented. You never worked at your talent. You don't write. You barely could read. And honest, honestly, you can't even, niggas is giving you reference tracks or whatever. You can't even copy what they're saying and even keep the flow up to par. This is not your God-given talent. You should be over here doing Carisha Please and selling motherfucking um, drinking game cards. That's about it. And also get the OnlyFans popping. That's just about it, okay? But I do wish her all the best. I see her out at All-Star Weekend. You know, I, I know people think that me and her are into it. No, we're not into any type of, like, beef right i gave my opinion about her she gave her opinion about me and um i don't think there's much to keep rehashing you know what i mean again she continues to prove my point right which is that the reason why she's selling three thousand records is that despite the insane popularity but people you're popular for being diddy side chick for getting pissed on for actually you know the city girl wave is a movement but you're popular for everything other than music we haven't heard a hot song in a long time the only hot song really that was bona fide a hit yadi wrote it and then y'all got mad at Yachty because of some dick and pussy shit. And then y'all got Yachty out of the paint. And now y'all can't get a, 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 another hot song. Okay. Clearly, Yachty's the best at writing these little songs for these chicks. You get what I mean? Anyway, uh, what's good with y'all? Somebody says, uh, Hair101 says, yo, we know you'd be on her OnlyFans. Yeah, no, I support her. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm not a hater of her, right? I'm just saying music ain't her talent. What's so wrong with telling some of these women that they're not like, like, they're just not talented at music, right? Like, we we do realize that over time when it comes to music, the cream rises to the crop and the trash just kind of go away. 
right? We don't have to. This is not kumbaya, right? Like, we could tell people you're just not talented at this. I don't know when rap became so soft. This is why, like, again, despite I, I'm going to keep reiterating the point, I think Nicki Minaj lost that PR battle with, with uh, Meg. She lost the, the PR battle. But did she win the rap battle? Shit, by default, yes. Like, don't tell me, oh, she talked about her dead mama. Nah, bro, I'm sorry. Man, hit back with some bars. You got way too much ammo for her to talk about your deceased mom and you tap out. Man, she got a husband that's on, on, on the registry. Come on, bro. There's too much There's too much ammo on Nikki for you to be like, oh, no, you went too far. You could go crazy on her, okay? Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Diddy. 